so let's see what we have here today. All I gotta say is, you better not be trolling us, Warner Brothers. Seriously, what the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys, it's what we do. Welcome to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame, and this is episode 40 of Strong Arm Flicks. So, Warner Brothers is not only showing their support for Zack Snyder's previous DCU movies, now they're showing their support to David Ayer's Suicide Squad, which has also been highly tampered with. Um, release the Ayer cut. It's been clear from the beginning that Warner Brothers hacked Suicide Squad up into a million pieces, completely changed the third act, cut the Joker out of the entirety of the film, and reshot Harley Quinn's arc. It's very clear that David Ayer was extremely happy when he noticed this image on Twitter um, where it showed Warner Brothers showing their support for Suicide Squad. This obviously made David Ayer very happy as he re seen it, he liked it, and he retweeted it, and it's on his Twitter right now. It's a quote from Harley Quinn, and it says, we're bad guys, it's what we do. David Ayer also has one hell of a sense of humor. Um, the other day on Twitter, a post went up, and it was created by Amateur Watcher, TPZ, and it's about Zack Snyder and his time at DC. It's an image of Zack Snyder looking at another director named Dennis. It reads, Dennis. I'm working on a more grounded, serious sci-fi film, and Zach responds back, get ready for bloggers to cry about it not being fun enough, and David Ayer obviously seen this post and retweeted it with the three laugh my ass off emojis. <laughs> oh, man. I, I fuck with David Ayer, man. He's a real down-to-earth dude, got a real good sense of humor, and um, he's just constantly showing his support for the release the Snyder Cut uh, for Zack Snyder. Um, he respects and uh, looks up to Zack Snyder. And like I've been telling you guys, Zack was going to give us, was going to be uh, DC's ke version of Kevin Feige. Zack was going to handle all the superheroes and give us his five film, five film arc. And David Ayer was going to give us the badass supervillains. It's a shame what happened to not only Zack Snyder, but also David Ayer, which doesn't get talked about quite as much. And I would like for that to change. I would like for um people to start realizing that david ayer he's not a as well established director as Zack snyder and you can tell that he is extremely worried he wants to support the Ayer cut he supports the snyder cut but he's scared to come out on his own and say what happened behind the scenes and um as proof of it a fan messaged david ayer his name was fawbish and he said, would you consider a live commentary of Suicide Squad? And David Ayer retweeted it and commented above it and said, I'd never work again. Winky face emoji. <laughs> and basically, that's his way of saying that he knows what it is. He knows that we know what it is. And that he, in his own way, is showing his support for his own cut and for Zack Snyder's cut of Justice League. He doesn't have the following that Zack's quite that Zack Snyder has, so he is kind of scared of what way that Warner Brothers would react and how you know would he ever you know just like he said if I came out I got so much shit to say about what happened behind the scenes of Suicide Squad I'd never work again as in <laughs> they'd fire my ass and I wouldn't I'd be blacklisted I probably wouldn't be able to get a fucking job anywhere. But the things and the, the, the times are changing over at Warner Brothers Studio. So I think that one day soon, we are going to get our air cut and our Snyder cut. Now, that is the news I have on the air cut. Do you guys think that the air cut is coming soon? Do you think that it's uh, likely that the air cut will come out prior to Zack Snyder's Justice League? Let me know what you think about that in the comment section below because the way that I'm feeling, I'm thinking that Warner Brothers is planning on releasing the Air Cut and the Snyder Cut at this point. Now, not much this week um, to report on about the Snyder Cut. Nothing that we don't really already know. But I do have one thing that I want to talk to you guys about. 
um, even though it's maybe a day or two old and some of you may have heard of it but um, I want to report and talk on this anyway um, recently Harry Lennox um, has came out and showed his support for the Snyder Cut and for those who, who you of you that don't know Harry Lennox plays General Swanwick in Man of Steel and in Batman vs Superman and Zack Snyder has revealed that General Swanwick was go there was going to be a reveal in the Justice League movie where General Swanwick was really gonna be he was gonna be Martian Manhunter it was gonna turn out that General Swanwick was secretly Martian Manhunter in disguise and General Swanwick's form was his humanized form um and he was going to be in disguise because he's a shapeshifter as you all know he was going to be as dis in disguise as either lois or uh martha a lot of people speculated it was martha but we just the truth is we just don't know it, all the exact details on that now anyway in a recent interview harry lennox came out and he was asked if he had heard about Zack snyder revealing that martian manhunter was going to be played by his character and uh, Harry Lennox said that he had heard about that and they said they asked him uh, you know would you consider doing it and he said he replied I would love to do that um, Harry Lennox also offered his support for the Snyder Cut and he said I hope that it will be seen I really do and that's the flick and if you like what you see like what you hear please smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and as usual i'll be bringing more dc and dceu content so subscribe to me for all of that shit